So I find it a little ironic that the first chapter we get to talk about is knowing whom to trust. So with the first concept of disinterest, we've covered disinterest before. Remember, that's not appearing to be selfish. And while you can have selfish tactics and strategies, you have to make sure that they're not overtly selfish because then they become problematic to those around you. For example, did you prepare for the current crisis or did you hoard for the current crisis? Did you buy one pack of toilet paper or ten packs of toilet paper? And so those who had disinterest would prepare for themselves and are able to prepare for themselves, but also look out for the interests of others. The chapter continues on talking about extremes and associations. We've talked about extremes and associations before. Extreme beliefs, political beliefs, professional beliefs, social beliefs, oftentimes carry with them weight and will influence those around you in different ways. Below, I'm putting up a TED Talk. It's a little bit long, but it's from a woman who was born and raised in the Westboro Baptist Church, and then she used the internet and conversations to realize that some of her beliefs may be extreme to the point that they weren't healthy, and by checking back, she left her church, and she actually ended up uh, in a long-term relationship with one of her original critics. So it's a really interesting TED Talk. I would watch it and compare it to this chapter. Finally, chapter 16 talks about virtue and having the right values at the right time. Look at our professional politicians, look at our educators, look at our first responders. The fact of the matter is that different people are showing different levels of virtue. I'm also going to embed a video from Obama from this last week, and I want us to watch it and think about virtue and what kind of virtue we want from our leaders at this time.